Hello, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to create BI reports in Oracle Fusion application or simply we can say Oracle Cloud application. For creating any reports in Oracle Cloud application, we have to follow some steps. Let me show you first the steps, then I will go further for creating the report. So as you can see that we have to follow six steps to create any BI report in Oracle application. The first step will be prepare a SQL query. So we have to prepare a SQL query based on that query we will create the report. Once we will create the SQL query, we will create the data model by uploading the same query in Oracle application. In third step, what we will do, we will download, we will download the XML file or simple report output so that we can create a report template. In fourth step, we will create a report template that is RTF template we will create so that our report output should be based on that RTF template. In fifth step, we will create report layout and we will add data model we have created in first step, second step. And the last step will be set the output format. We will do setting related to our, what will be the output format XML or PDF or CSV, whatever. And we will run the reports. So let's begin with first step. So I have already prepared the SQL query for report. So these are the this is the query. I will use this query to generate the report or create the data model. So I have created first step completed. I have created the rep, uh, query. Now next step is that create data model. So for creating data model, I will go to application. This is Oracle Cloud application or Oracle Fusion application. So we have to for navigation we have two like a way we can navigate so first our simple way directly we will click here and go to tools so if you will see in tools we have report and analysis we can directly click here to navigate the report part or simply we have this is the path so we will remove rest part and simply enter analytics you can see that this one and it will open the same path you can see both Right. So now what we have to do, we have to go browse catalog. If we'll go browse catalog, it will show here, right? Where we can create the report by clicking on this new and here report. Or simply we can directly what we going to do when we will create a report and analysis here by creating, we can create on click report, create report. So let's create on here, click on here. So it will open new page. So let's add this one here. You can see I don't require so I have to just I will show you how we can navigate right so here we can click on new here we can create report same so let, let. so now we have to create new report so I will click on cancel okay and here click on plus so now this is the page where we will create data model so I have already created the query so I will copy the same query so this is my query so in this video, I will show you simple uh, report without any parameter. In next video, you can see the create report with parameter. So what we need to do, we need to click on this plus icon, select SQL query, and here we need to give any name. And select data source, type SQL standard query, paste here. So once you will paste the query, you need to click on OK. It will generate the same column and all you can see here data set, right? So for executing this query or checking that result, need to click on this data. Once you will click on data, by default the row, row will be 5, you can change the row limit. So if I will select 200, so maximum 200 row I can see using that report output. So let me select 10, click on view. First it will show you data in table view, sorry tree, tree view, we need to change this data or we need to see this data in table views, just click here. You can see that this is the output of my report. Transaction ID, shipment number, sub inventory and all everything. Whatever I have fetched from the query. Right. So what sex, third step I need to do if you will see. In third step I have to upload SQL query I have uploaded. And now export XML simple so that we can create a report template. Right. So for creating XML what I will do first I will uh, save as simple data so first I will save this data so that I can generate it can generate XML for same so click on this export here you can see that it's downloaded the XML for this report output so using this as XML what we can do we can create our BI report 
sorry uh, we can create our data template or we can say layout so you can say that these are the column name whatever we will use in our rtf template all this column name right you can see and these are values so this third step is completed fourth is now i have to create report template that is rtf template so I have already created the report template. You can see that in Word I have created a template and I have saved this report as .rtf, right? So you can see that whatever column is there, here I have used in report, report layout. You can see that serial number, transaction, and this column I have used here, transaction ID, transaction date. So uh, in another video I will uh, like I will show you how to create this report and basic like detail in details i will show you so right now i have main focus is to create or a step to create reports so i will not focus on this uh, layout right so now our rtf is ready so next what we need to do is that we need to click on that create report so first save as simple okay now what i have to do we have to save this report right save this data model so first click on this save first time we will save any loc location so i am going to save this here you can save it anywhere here I will give the name and v underscore item uh, inventory item reports click on ok so my data model is saved now click on this create report so once you will create and create a report so if, uh, if you don't want to uh, upload this rtf template right so uh, in cloud application we have this report editor tool so using this you can by default it will generate that template for this data model so i don't want this so i will click on cancel yes now what i need to do is that i need to click on this plus and select data model data model that i have right now created and saved so no sorry uh, let me return yeah so right now I have to upload here RTF template, right? So first I will upload RTF template, then I will select data model. So click here, give the layout name. So INV underscore item RPT, upload the template. So I have says template here, this one I will upload. Select type RTF, locate English US yeah so click on upload so you can see that my report layout is uploaded now i have to attach this data model so just click on this search and select this data model click ok so right now you can see that this is my report layout and this is the data model select selected here so now i have to save save this report layout so click on save enter the name we can put same name it will be easy for us right now click on view so before going to view i if you will see i have created a layout add a data model to that layout and now last step is to set the output format and then run the report so before going to run the report i will set the output format if i will not set the output format it will show default so let me show click on this view report you can see that it's taking some time to generate the report so here you can see that it's generated the report output so it's taken some time because i have not done any validation so it's generated too many records right if you will see here it's it's too many records right 
so let me do or let me uh, show you some setting report output setting so that uh, it will help you for formatting the report output so here for doing some changes related to report or format you need to click on this here setting icon action icon when you will click it will show you the output so edit report here you can see that uh, it's open report layout so now click on this view as list icon and here you can see that we have report output format default format and everything so whatever you want to change so if you view right now it's def showing default ad ad html right so here if uh, i will select csv so it will show me csv if select xml so right now after selecting here it will not show you show us in this format when we will select this option here it will show all the option in this default format so whatever default format we will select it will show report output over there in that format so suppose i have selected rtf so it will show output in rtf if several suppose i will select in excel so here i have selected excel here save and click on this run report so it will take some time because it's taking too many records 